And now, we're talking relationships right here at this point. Now, if you've been in a long-term relationship and you don't want to leave because you have invested so much time, maybe this is the conversation for you. Ido Tehila is here with us. Now, we're going to be pointing out reasons to leave a long-term relationship. Yes, you heard me right. I said leave. Hmm. Now, she is a relationship coach, certified leader and communicator, and so much more rolled into one. She's one of our favorite relationship experts right here on Wake Up Nigeria, and she's here with us right now. Ah, look at that smile. Oh, look at that smile. I bless you. <laughs> Thank you so much, TT. You say yeah. the nicest things. So this issue of long-term relationships. Right. We're talking relationship. For some people, long-term is six months. Some right. people... It's one year. Mm -hmm. uh, but if you've invested a lot, it feels like even longer. Yes. Time, energy, love, finance, um, other opportunities. Emotions. Emotions. Yes. yes yeah, yes. a lot invested. Yes. There's probably somebody watching right now that doesn't know if it, there's a future in that relationship, mm. but just doesn't want to leave. Mm. Yeah, so a lot of people out of sentiment uh, hang on to relationships that are dead on arrival. Mm. You, see, you see the lights, you see the signs, but you say to yourself, I can change her, I okay. can change him. Mm. But really, no one can change any other person. Okay. Um, with light, with clarity, with wisdom comes maturity, and with that comes change. So if you only, like I say, uh, if you knew better, yeah. you would do better. So if uh, there are issues, if there are challenges, it's because that person or even you in the, you know, if it's the case, yeah. you know, has a bit of dark area somewhere, a bit of gray area somewhere, some place of ignorance. Mm. So if you had light in that area, you probably won't have issues in that area. Uh, I'd also like to point out that um, when we say long-term relationships, we, 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 we're used to hearing time is money, yeah, right? Sure. But time is life. Of course. Time is life. So if you have spent life in a relationship and it seems not to be moving anywhere then you need to have the critical discussion which is yeah. what we're doing now so those, what are those factors that mm. um the average let's say the average man or woman mm. should consider before leaving okay so uh i need to start by saying in answering that question i need to start by saying that uh, no situation is irredeemable Okay. No situation is irreversible. So, for example, let's say uh, emotional torture or emotional abuse. Okay. Okay, so um, I'm not speaking to you. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not giving you attention. Yeah. Uh, we're having a conversation. It degenerates into an argument. I walk away yeah. or I storm out and I, you know, oh, I'm crying because I want to manipulate you. Mm -hmm. Now, the guy sees every time we have, you know, an argument, she starts crying. Mm -hmm. So Why? She, so she's not talking she's about it. She's not talking. She's crying. And he, okay. he has noticed over time this behavior. And he says, you know, I can't do this anymore because we need to discuss certain things. But you're not talking. You just keep crying. Mm. And the girl doesn't want to face these issues. She probably has insecurity issues. I don't want to lose him. Yeah. You know, so let me manipulate him and cry. Okay. You know, so emotional abuse, this can also be corrected. You could just, you know insist on that conversation. Mm. I'm saying these things because a lot of people say, oh, we have irreconcilable differences. Mm. We can't do this anymore. Why can't you do this anymore? You know, there's probably a communication gap somewhere. There are some deal breakers for some people, however. Uh, issues like infidelity, issues like uh, physical abuse. Let's mm. touch on infidelity. Okay. I would say that if it's, um, if it's a, a courtship okay. and not marriage, yeah. um, infidelity, might be a deal breaker. Mm. But again, I said, where there's clarity, where there's light, there's wisdom, mm. and then there's maturity. Okay. So there's something that took him or took her out of that relationship yeah. to bring about the issue of infidelity. What was the problem? Mm. Find the root cause, okay. and then you can find the solution. And you don't necessarily have to, you know, walk out of that relationship. But when it comes to physical abuse, mm. uh, girl, you need to get, get to step in. Yeah. <laughs> get to step in, otherwise you lose your life. Mm. There, no there man are is worth it. cases of physical abuse in the, On other, the other direction. Side, no well. woman is worth it. Okay. Okay, so um, if you, for example, your wife or your girlfriend mm. is a giant. 
okay. you know, and you're like really mm -hmm. pretty small and she's physically abusing you. Don't, don't say I'm the man, walk away. Mm. You know, okay. and just leave the relationship because your life is more important. Where there is life, mm. there's hope and then you can get other chances at love. Okay. Right, so walk away. If it's, if it's physical abuse, yeah. walk away. get out. Mm. Just get out of that relationship for your own good. Mm. For your own now, good. Now there are, as we said earlier, signs and a lot of people often ignore these signs, these signs mm -hmm. with the hope that they can change people. Um, this issue of change, you did say there's no irredeemable Yes. Situation. Yes. Isn't that still the same thing as expecting or hoping that someone will change? Um, you're not expecting. You're being intentional and you're working towards it. Okay. That's why I said there's no irredeemable situation. Mm -hmm. So, for example, uh, let's, let's talk about verbal abuse okay. because it's a form of abuse. Mm -hmm. You know, some, some people don't know how to use <laughs> They don't have to use their words. You know, yeah. when, when you're teaching a child, you tell the child, stop throwing tantrums, use your words. Yes. You know, some adults don't know how to use their words. Uh, instead, they throw insults, verbal punches, mm. you know, and that can be very, um, you know, mm. it can be hurtful. You say things and you can't take them back. And then when you come back and say, oh, I'm sorry, yeah. those it's words already... are still ringing in yeah. your head. You know, so you have someone and it's for, for if you... Mm. Not if you. For a lot of people, verbal mm. abuse is a form of defense. Mm. They don't know any better. They probably grew up around bullies. So you have to have the conversation where you explain that you do not like being spoken to in a certain way. And if they don't make some changes... If, if they don't make changes, you need to probe further yeah. because now you've invested yeah. life, remember? So mm. probe further. Why is this person resisting? Yeah. If you see that there is no root and this person is just being unreasonable, yeah. please walk away. Ido Tehila in the building. <laughs> it's been an amazing month with you talking to us on relationships. A uh, great way to start the year. Some hard facts. Hopefully it's connected with someone out there. Use our hashtag WakeUpNigeria on TVC and let's see if we can answer some of your questions right there online. And of course, you can always reach out to us. We have quite a bit more coming your way right here on Wake Up Nigeria. Stay with us.